Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about this ngx chart library for Angular. It's pretty nice for drawing charts. Uh, you can see this is a chart and a bar chart. You mouse over, there are the text labels. Uh, the only problem is that, uh, so if you look at the syntax of this ngx chart, it's just one extra component, the ngx charts, bar vertical. And then you pass a bunch of data from your parent component into this child component. Uh, one of them is called a result, which is your data. Um, in my parent component, uh, this data is variable is called students. The students variable actually supplies the data to draw this part, chart. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the student JSON objects, basically three values, yeah, name, value, name, value, name, value, and it's drawn here as the charts. Okay, there's something quirky I'd like to mention, and in case you uh, encounter the same problem, is that this ngx chart if you grab the data, your local variable is called student, and this, of course, I use the service to grab the data from that JSON file via the HTTP call. And if I use this student equals the response, uh, the subscribe HTTP response, there's nothing wrong, everything works. However, if I do something different, instead of pass the value wholesale into my local uh, property, I use this. Uh, loop for each element of this response i push that value uh, then you will see for whatever reason the chart becomes blank even though the values are pushed into students array uh, the students array has been updated this ngx chart thing does not refresh so the ngx chart does not know that the student's value, this value has been populated. So this shows nothing. This is very quirky because uh, I tested with other components. They work as intended, but this ngx chart component, it does not know student has been updated. Uh, so if you're going to use this uh, loop type of a push syntax to get the value into your component, uh, I would you will have to use this extra line of code. This student's equals this student's assign the value to itself. Um, this will make it work again. Okay, so this is basically uh, just remember if you use a loop to push values into your local variable, um, local array, what happens that this ngx chart component will not refresh. The component doesn't know the data has been updated, it doesn't know. So you have to either pass the value wholesale or with this extra line of code, this student equals this student, to let the child component, this uh, ngx charts component, know that the data has been updated. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.